Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be diving into the... Oh, it helps if I turn it around the right way. It's been one of those days. We're going to be diving into the Venus Immortals palette. It looks like a monochrome palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. I was really excited to get this in the post. I have created this look. So if you want to recreate or see how I created this kind of glam but cute but gothic, but alternative grunge slash Halloween look, or whatever you want to call it, then keep watching the video and you will see how I achieved this look and what I think of this palette. So, keep watching. Okay, so I have done my uh, foundation, my base, my eyebrows, um, some blusher and a bit of contour that didn't work out too well today, I don't think. Um, I do have the ring light in this room now to brighten up the videos um so it yeah we'll see how that goes um and I just stuck my beanie hat on just to keep my lack of hair out of the way um yeah so we're going to be doing a little bit of a first impressions with the Venus um Immortals palette that looks well I think it kind of looks like a monochrome style goth palette so these are the colors inside so let's just go and dive right in and see what kind of look I end up making with this okay to start things off I'm just going to go in with a fluffy small brush and I think I'm going to dip into the shade let me see I haven't, I haven't even thought this out this is rubbish um, I'm going to dip in with this shade here it looks like a colour that I could probably use to do a bit of transition. Um, let's use that colour. I have not used any of the colours, so this will be interesting. So, yeah. This is a really, really light greyish white. I'm not sure if my camera is picking up on the colour at all, but I'm quite happy with it. I'm just going to bring it up as much as I can. I guess you could use this palette for like a like everyday golf look. So I'm now going to dive into one of the darker purpley kind of colours. This colour is called Unveil. I'm going to use this colour and I'm definitely going to be using the black. I really want to see how that black performs so we're going to use unveil and I'm just going to get another fluffy brush because I really want to buff this out so um, I will point out with this palette that just using the first colour here there is a bit of product fallout so if you're not into that you know um, just so you're aware so let's go in with this unveil colour oh she's a lot darker than I thought she was going to be Okay. Oh, she's nice though. It's a nice color. So again, I'm taking this a little bit higher up than I normally would, and um, just so I can like make some kind of gradient style. Um, that color. That is so pretty. I really want to take it like right round. I might do that later. Okay. I'm just going back in with the other brush and I'm just going to like fade out a little bit in the inner like that way 
and again on the other side just to fade out that color a little bit I really like that color I'm not mad at it um, yeah I think you really just have to work at it a little bit either that one of my eyes is just not wanting to play with makeup today So I'm now going to go in with, see I really like that moth colour, it's really really pretty, but I think I'm going to go in with the black colour, the unseen colour, because I want to see how it comes out, and I'm really interested in the shimmery colours, the one down the bottom, I think it was called Hail, yeah. So I think that's what I might do for my actual eyelids, so let's just see what this black does. Blacks can be a bit of a hit and a miss. Um, so let's let's see what happens. Oh, so um, you get quite a bit of fallout with this so that's something for you guys to be aware of. Doesn't really bother me. It's not the best black I've used, but you can still definitely like make it work. So we're just going to go and move on to the other eye and try not make the mess I just made. Yeah. So we'll put a little whoops here. I'm just going back in with that colour called Unveil and just kind of like buffing it into the black just so that I don't have any harsh lines with the black. Like so. Whoa. Okay. Um, right. We're now going to use the colour the colour Hail, which was this one. really want to try that other colour here and this one. They look so nice. Ash and Moth look so pretty. But I am going to use a flat brush and I'm going to wet it maybe? Or will I put concealer on it? Mm. Let's see what it looks like without me actually putting anything on it. And see what happens. So let's try hill. I can always use my fingers if this doesn't work too. So, oh, it's really soft. Okay. So I'm just going to pop this on. That is just a really, really pretty silver. It would be interesting to see how long this lasts. But I'm very, very happy with that. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in with that really soft grey colour again and just like soften some of the bits that I want to soften, like somewhere in here. Just like that much better and again for the other eye like so I'm going to do some eyeliner 
and some mascara and I'm going to have another look at the bottom line to see if I want to maybe add something to this or leave it as it is. Um, so yeah, I will do that. So I will be using the Better Than Sex um, eyeliner. Again, I'm just using this up. I said that in my last video. It's not my favourite, but I'm just using it up. So I will do E-line. Oops. There is still a lot of fallout. I'm still catching like little specks. I hope this isn't going to happen all day. Okay. So I've done my eyeliner, it's not the best eyeliner in the world, but it's done. And I think, I kind of want to go in with this. And just to give it a bit of a, bit of a change maybe? I don't know, I'm, I want to go in with this e.l.f. eyeliner. Um, it was the J. Kissa blue navy one. I love a navy blue eyeliner for my under eyes. So I'm just going to put this in and see. Oh, that's what, yeah, definitely quite happy with that. So, do the other eye. And I'm just going to buff that out ever so slightly, like so. And then I'm just going to use my Milk Makeup Mascara. Okay, that's that on. I think I will take some of the colour and put it underneath the navy blue as well. So I will go back in with that. Like so. And I'm really happy with that. Okay, I'm just going to tidy up my face a bit, zoom out, put on some hair and tell you my thoughts. Okay, so I have some hair on now. Um, I have two lipsticks to finish this look. I got the Earthling Milk, Co um, yeah, Milk Cosmetics, which is like a grey kind of colour, which might like complement the whole look. Or if I really want to be kind of goth, I might go for the Zero by Sugar Pill. So I'm going to try this one first, see how it looks, and I can always change my mind if it's not what I'm looking for. So let's see how this goes. We will put this on. It's such a nice, nice, nice color. So let's do this. So this is what it looks like with the um, Earthling shade by Milk's Cosmetics. I think this looks so nice. I absolutely love this. It's so, so pretty. You could totally use the black shade or any black lipstick and this will goff this up. And also this is kind of really um, handy because we're in October and it would make a really cute Halloween look. So let's talk about this palette. So this is the palette, this is what it looks like. It is black with the Venus on the front. It is the Venus Immortals. It is a glow-in-the-dark um, figure of on the front. We also have your mirror as well. And you also have your eight shades, which is a mix of matte and shimmers. And I want to say pressed pigment glitters, but they might not be. So don't quote me on that. I paid roughly about 32 to 35 pounds for this. I got free shipping and I got this from, originally I actually got it from Look Fantastic, but they didn't, they had it in stock and then it went out of stock and then they said there was a delay so I canceled that order and I went elsewhere. So that wasn't cool because that was annoying and I had to wait longer. So yeah, you can get these quite easily. I think the other place that will most likely stock it will be 
love makeup and I got this one from Cult Beauty, that was it. So yeah, so this is what the palette looks like. What do I think of the palette? Okay, you do get some kickback on some of the colours. Uh, there was a lot of kickback from the black. I didn't find them too patchy. Uh, they are like Lime Crime Standard. Um, the colours are gorgeous, you will be able to do lots of looks with this. Perfect for Halloween, perfect for a Halloween look or your goth look. Um, I bought this deliberately because I wanted to replace my Kat Von D light dark palette I think it was called. I used to love that but I fell out of love with it because I felt that the colours were not giving me enough variety. Mentioned it but I'll say it again anyway, the palette glows in the dark um, and the inside of the palette also glows in the dark too. So overall um, I'm really happy with the, how the makeup turned out. The um, Silver colour is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. It is transferring a little bit onto my lids, upper lids, but that's because I have hooded eyes and that is really normal for me anyway. Um, the black, it was cute. Uh, not my best black that I have. I still love my um, black one from Sugar Pill. And also the other colours, uh, they blended well together. They're really, really pretty. A little bit difficult to start with, but I was a bit timid using this palette because the colours were rather bold and very dark. Um, I would definitely recommend doing your eyes first if you're using this palette and then doing the rest of your face because I did get a lot of fallout and I had to catch a lot of the product off my face. So yeah, things are roundabouts, but overall I really like the palette. I'm a bit of a blind crime fan with the eyeshadows anyway. Um, and I also like the size of the palette. I did have the extra large ones. I sold them on um, and gave one away. They were too big for me. I also felt that the colours were repeating themselves a lot as well. So this is the overall look. I'm happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to give you a notification on when I do upload a video. You will find me on Facebook and Instagram. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So till next time, catch you later.